A technologically advanced country with the largest economy in the world takes 34 years to introduce a new bomber. The strategic bomber that is currently in use, the B-2, debuted in 1988. The world was introduced to B-21, radar on December 2, 2022. Currently flying USA bombers B-1, B-2, and B-52 performed a joint flypast to greet B-21. The B-21 program will cost a staggering USD 200 and 3 billion over 30 years, according to current forecasts. Six B-21 platforms are currently being developed at various levels. If all system analyses and ground tests go off without a hitch, the first B-21 flight is slated for mid-2023. The strategic bomber fleet of the U.S. is changing drastically. The decision to retain the oldest battle horse is the most impressive and astonishing. The eight-engine B-52 will get several upgrades, including an updated aero engine, and will continue to be used for nearly a century. By 2050, B-1 and B-2 bombers will no longer be in use. For the next 50 years, possibly longer, the B-52 and B-21 will make up the majority of the USAF strategic bomber fleet. The B-21 is referred to be a sixth-generation airplane. The B-2 design, a standard wing design with exceptional stealth properties, is nearly identical to the B-21 design. It will be a bomber with nuclear weapons and almost all current precision-guided weapons. With in-flight refueling, it can travel to any location on the planet. USAF Bomber Fleet – The Best China and Russia don't possess any bombers that can compete with the USAF Bomber Fleet in terms of both capability and quantity. Chinese H-6 and H-20 bombers won't have the range or firepower of the USAF Bomber Fleet. The Russian 295 is the same way. One of the most important components of the nuclear triad is the strategic bomber. B-21 will likely be able to deliver nuclear weapons to several locations at once. The B-21's stealth ability will enable it to breach target defenses without being seen or threatened, evading powerful ground-based air defense systems. Before B-21 can join an active USAF unit, it will need a few years of arduous and time-consuming flight testing. First, B-21 has been assigned a T-1 designation. Five additional B-21s are being built at Palmdale's Air Force Plant 42. Numerous ground tests have already been conducted on prototype B-21. The outcome slash progress of the next ground tests will determine when the first flight will take place. There are planned flight tests at Edwards Air Force Base. Unlike other aircraft, where prototype aircraft is very different from production aircraft, the first B-21 will be extremely expensive and will thus be more or less like a production aircraft. Additionally, it will shorten the flight test timeline, hastening the aircraft's entry into service. The future of B-21 development Frank Kendall, Secretary of the Air Force, has personally and actively participated in making B-21 development possible. He ensured that funding was available and supported the USAF's request for 145 aircraft. A very important lesson needs to be learned by the Indian military establishment. Studying how a decision exposure maker's experience directly affects national security is made possible by understanding Frank Kendall's history. Under Secretary for Defense Acquisition, Technology, and Logistics was Frank Kendall. This is the situation since our Defense Secretary is not needed to have any such experience. A total of 220 B-52s and 145 B-21s will likely make up the USAF strategic bomber fleet. The 21 currently in service B-2s and B-1s will have parking spaces in the USAF's graveyard. There won't be 220 nuclear-capable bombers. There will be an unknown number. It is unknown how long it will take to get the 145 bombers, but until the very end of this century, at the very least, the B-21 will serve as the cornerstone of the USAF strategic bomber force. No Chinese or Russian strategic bomber has yet been operationalized that can match the performance of the B-21. The current USAF strategic bomber B-2 outperforms all other bombers in terms of performance and capability. However, the B-21 Raider won't be able to take part in a raid for at least five years, until 2027. The procedure of testing such complicated machinery is agonizingly and brutally slow. Several window design observations have already been made. Months will pass between spin-involved ground tests and flight tests before test pilots give their approval.